So finally, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's been a little while. I am finally out on, out on an excursion. Talk to you more about it later on, the reasons why I'm getting out. Uh, but this is me, only 200 yards from my house. Walk down through, you see the trees behind me, it's like a parky thing. I'm on a big bridge. We've got this motorway. And um, as soon as I cross this, this is me um, sort of leaving the city. This is me getting up. Oh, sorry, but the sun's behind me. Nothing I can do there. But uh, that's me leaving civilization and getting onto the trails. Uh, so I'll, I'll bring you back as and when we're up there, okay, guys? I think that's a guest oh, but uh, that's the way it's hard hovering. It's not actually that far away from me. He swooped a wee bit there, so he saw movement. And he stopped, he's only... He was only about 10 foot off the ground here. Anyway, bring it back, so... This is walking up. I'm, uh, Probably about half an hour walk from... the furthest I've ever been. Getting there. Yeah, so we're not too far away. Uh, I think when I go up there, I'm going to have a wee, a wee rest and ponder my next, my next thingy. Yeah, I'm sure that is. I'm sure that is a kestrel. But it might be some other type of hawk, but just the way he's hovering, about the right size. Oh, wind make my eyes water. So not too cold, not too bad. It's about a couple of degrees. The sun's just went behind a couple of clouds there. The sun's out. Raises the temperature a wee bit. The uh, wind chill is making it. I know it's probably about zero, zero, one degree. Is that wind chill? I'm gonna get a bit cold tonight, but don't worry, I'm gonna get set up. I'll show you my new toys and uh, how I'll be dealing with the cold tonight. Girls, I finally found my spot. Uh, I've actually been here for a little while. This little section of wood, and I've just been walking around in circles trying to find a bit to pitch. So decided on a bit. I'm going to get this sorted out. Um, I'm probably not going to film the pitching of this because first time I've set it up. I've got a couple other little toys. I'll bring you back uh, when I've got this more homely like. Okay, so I'm um, basically set up now. Got a lavu. Whether I've done it properly, I don't know. We'll soon find out if it rains. <laughs> sort of maybe question when I'm when I'm inside lavu, where the sun's hitting this side here, it looks like the the fabric's pretty loose. I think it's not watertight. I don't know. Maybe that's just because it's new. Maybe I need to treat it. I don't know. But um. Hopefully tomorrow the rain will come either as I'm leaving or by the time I get home. I think. I'll take you on a wee trip. There's some birch trees and stuff around there. We're going to go get a wee bit of birch bark and a bit to start the fire with. So ladies and gents. I decided you know, instead of taking out loads of stuff uh, for cooking from my first trip, um, I decided that I would get one of these Polish MREs because I was in the shop getting the lavu and I thought, yeah, why not? So, uh, let's have a little look at Right, so this is a lemon lime like chewy bar, I suppose you would call it. Okay, you got matches and stuff in here. Okay. So 
looks like the wee cooking. And it's got a tiny little stove in it. That'll be your fuel tabs. Oh, they stink. Probably gloves for touching the fuel, I would imagine. And your little burner plate. Okay, I'll leave that out because I'm going to use this. I'm going to uh, I'm going to cook one meal using this, I think. And later on, I'll start the fire and things like that. We've got sweets, assorted drinks, and cups there. <laughs> okay, kind of random. So like Rivita biscuits. Bar of chocolate. Okay, that's quite nice. Okay, so this is a. Uh, what's again? Raspberry tea. And this is a citron tea. There's a road, so. Alright, okay, so this is like a trail mix, so. What's that? Pineapple, like dried fruit, sorry. Pineapple, strawberries, uh, apple, banana, and ch cherry, I think. Is that? Cherry, I think. Very good. Mm, More of the tea cigarettes. So Yeah, about, yeah, definitely tea. So, two sips of tea, two raspberry tea, and oh, don't actually know what that one is. Isn't it? Marco fruit. Orzo. Orzo. What's up with this niche? Maybe that's mixed fruit. We'll see, I think. Maybe. Ah, and what is this? Uh, Ripa Rosa. And Saucy Vazanium. So that's beef. Ripa Rosa. Zina. Ripa Rosa Zina. We'll be in a beef sauce probably, and more crackers, cutlery, 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 cutlery. Um, Pashed, patty, type stuff. Uh, honey, vodka, 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 I don't know what that is. That's honey, meod. More biscuits, these will be these oh, they're like mad little tough biscuits. I think you get similar things in every single army ration out there. And uh, the two mean that mean two main meals. Kurchaka. Raki. Raki Viperosi. Viperovi. Beef, chicken, kurchaka. And that's about it. I think I can get it. see if this. Oh, yeah, no, this is this. This has got a British one on it. So I see exactly what these are. Aha, so, ah, Mexican, okay. So this is Mexican style chicken casserole. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was, that, that. I didn't know that was uh, blah, 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 forest fruit flavoured. It'll be Radke pork rolls. No, so that's pork rolls in pork rolls and gravy. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me see. 
And this one's just a, a pork and gravy. I think that's more a snacky meal than anything. And inside then, cups and stuff, I think there's like chewing gum and all your, all your extras. So, anyway. What you have, what you have, what you have. I am incredibly stiff from work and uh, the walk up here because I, <laughs> obviously I haven't done it for a while. Oh. I think I'm going to be suffering tomorrow, folks. So this is actually quite, quite sturdy that, that's like uh, aluminium, I think that's aluminium. Quite sturdy. Let's set that one there. All right, so I don't know if you would even heat this up or not. Let's see. Oh no, that's a cold dish. That is definitely a cold dish. That's the, oh, they're both like patty type things. Oh. Tell you what, I'm gonna have a little snack of these. Because I am quite hungry, and I will uh, I'll bring you guys back when I actually eat one of the, the proper meals. So I don't know, I might keep that wee cooker thing as part of my kit, just for, just for emergencies I suppose. Could be handy. I don't know if you can see that guys, it's right in the centre frame. You can't, you just see his head popping out every once in a while. A wee woodpecker friend. Doesn't seem bothered by me, I'm not being particularly quiet or anything. He pokes his head up a bit, it's kind of right in the centre frame. But um, yeah, I've heard him at the trees before. All around me, I'm sure it's the same one. He's the same one, but uh, I couldn't see him before. <laughs> so I was just sitting down there eating some of that patty, just leaning up against the tree, and I dunk, 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 dunk. He's still there, even though I'm talking. He's not bothered. Kind of popped his head up there, but something interesting in that tree. So there you can see. Right there. If I just move a bit, there you can see behind me there. The sun going down. Put on my other jacket because after I sat down, the sun got there. I got wicked cold really fast. So I'm uh, gonna get the fire going just shortly and stuff, and see what I'm doing. Oh, maybe a little lackluster video, but oh, I am honestly I'm tired and stiff and sore all over. But oh, I needed to get out. So needed to get out. 
And I love this bit of forest I found, it's like, well, it's pine trees. Nice Scots pine or what kind of pine? I like these big tall pine trees with sort of space in them rather than the, the little spruce. And what we've got is just a little way behind me, uh, behind me where I am now, you can see there's been forest fires. You can see where the ground's burnt, not here where I am, that's kind of why I kept going. Um, the ground's kind of mossy, when I dug the fire put out there it's um, like sandy underneath, not too bad. So I'll keep an eye on that, but I've got water there if I need to. And there's a track not far away for it, I'm going to probably get sand from tomorrow just to, to thing it. But um, yeah, there's like scorched, there's loads, loads of timber. You can see it. See what I've collected on the ground there, you see the scorched bit. So I think the fires came there and they've cut all that down. So it's kind of, it's fire damage, so I don't presume they're going to be using it for anything. You're not going to be selling it or anything like that. So I'm going to nick a few bits, have a long log fire the night. Uh, yeah. See how the night goes. I've got it's like a little, I think it's Polish, I think you get it from other side, so I put a, it's like a mess tin, I put it in a, put extra coffees and stuff like that in it, a couple of snacks, and that was owned by Pavel Chonzi, 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 Pavel someone. What I think I might do to heat up my my uh, MRE thing. Fires. <coughs> oh, that was going to burn. Let's see, it was kind of damp. Oh well. So what I'm going to do is, because they're in little tins, so they come in these little tins, they're not in, yeah, I think I can fit this one, I don't know. Yeah. I could fit that small one in there, with a bit of water, and sort of heat it up with the water. The bigger ones I think will be no problem on the fire. Took some chocolate, I didn't expect it to be any chocolate in there. Last and packed, certainly not a big block. <sighs> oh, you biscuits is all I've had today is that little tin of patty. So guys, I have here, um, I've actually got the two main meals uh, from, from the MRE. So, I said a tin that's about that size, you see that size of hand? I'm going to have both of them at the same time because I can easily eat two of them at the same time. I'm starving. So what I was doing before, or what I think would be good, oh, go for that. What was that? Right. So this is the this is the Mexican chicken. I'm just going to set it there to get hot. There would be there. Ah, you bastard. Okay, lucky for you. That might be 
be better actually. So just let that start heating up and then uh, I'll, I'll break it up a wee bit and get the heat right through it. And once that's nearly hot while I'm eating it, I'll maybe put the other one on. We shall see. Yeah, it's just in a tin, there's nothing, nothing really else to it. The gloves there just for picking it up. And then I shall retire into my accommodation for this evening and have a little munch. If you can see that a little bit better with my, with my headlamp on there. As I say, it comes with the little, I don't know, fuel burners, whatever they are. I don't know what type of fuel it is, but it stinks. And I mean absolutely stinks. But I'll, uh, I'll keep them and the little matches, things like that. I'll just keep them for a, an emergency one, I suppose. Now we've got some water on for the coffee as well. I like that little mess tit that I got. Um, I don't, I don't really have stuff that really needs it at the moment. You know, the other half of it, the main half. Um, I think I would be better with a not not tinned rations like that, but obviously like a like a British Army ration or like your uh, you know, your hiking food, your camping food. You just sort of thing in water a little bit. Um, yeah, I've got that on. the on. The lid there comes in handy for coffees. The one thing I noticed, I missed my my little, uh, what do you call it, you know, my little cup I normally have. The thing about those tinned, those, those cups like that is uh, your coffee, your hot drink, whatever, goes cold really quick. That, that water's nearly boiling already, and that, that's literally been on for not even two minutes. Go up here. So, you know, this is kind of like chili, chicken chili, I suppose. Chili con, chili con kochak. <laughs> um, so I'll just break that up a little bit, mix it around. And that's just gonna let the just gonna let the heat get through it. Oh. Yeah, actually that that water's boiled. That's pretty good the way I had that, that handles is it not right there but there, I can quite easily, quite easily hold that. It's also got a little, uh, I don't know if you can see, just here, a little hole bit there. So if you maybe, if you maybe wanted to get a stick and jam it in there, you know, to take it on and off fires or, well, well designed. I'm enjoying playing with my new toy. Well, I figured out those drinks as well. I showed you before, uh, they're not hot drink. Well, I suppose you could put hot water in them, but they are more like, you know, like electrolyte sort of drinks. Even the ones that are herbata, that's like uh, herbata's tea. Um, but they're, they're very big on, you know, like iced tea here. So that's a very, very popular thing. They're more like iced tea drinks. There we are. There's two. Will it be enough? It's just those Nescafe 3 in ones. Slightly different to the ones we get back home. These have, you know, whatever the milk or creamer or whatever in it. You guys are slightly 
like a creamier flavour. I think you guys can see me, I hope I've got you in frame. <laughs> We're going to keep this glove on while I eat because... Uh, that's still pretty hot. So because I'm going to be drinking out of that as well, I'll... Uh, I'll have to leave that to cool a little bit so I don't burn my mouth. Mm. I'm actually going to have this Mexican chicken with some of these crisp breads. It's nice if they've done it with rice or something, but. What are you going to do? That's actually really good, but um, in Poland they don't really have a taste for spice, hot stuff, so the Mexican thing is basically, it's almost like a tomato sauce. It's nice though, don't get me wrong, but I think I'm either going to have to find Tabasco here, which I think you can find Tabasco here, I'm going to I'm gonna have to take it out on my my trips because uh, I'm a bit of a spice fanatic and you, you just can't get it here. I'm actually a bit hot in front of this fire. I've, I've been sitting back a little bit. It's just nice in there. But, uh, yeah, it's damn hot here. I do have our like these coffees. So I tell you what, I'll spare you watching me eating the whole thing. Oh. And I'll bring you guys back in a bit. There you go, I'll give you a quick look at my, my other couple of new, new things I've got here. So, I've got my self-inflating mat, um, but I don't think the R value, so like the insulation value is necessarily brilliant on that, it's comfortable. Um, so what I've done was I got just this cheap, it's actually, I don't know, like Polish, Polish military um, foam mat. So that's just to help with insulation. And also if you're in the forest and stuff with pine needles, I suppose it would be stop this getting punctured, you know. Uh, and then I uh, have a Polish military um, sleeping bag, so it's a two bag system. Got the outer bag and pardon me, outer bag and a bag. Um, so the outer bag, medium bag, zips in the middle. Fuck's oh, sake, oh, speedos everywhere. And then you've got the 
you know, the lightweight jungle bag, which is, or, or summer bag, whatever you want to call it. Which that opens at the side. I guess that one opens at the side and that one opens there to kind of, you know, cross over the, you know, because the, the zip's obviously the, the weak point on the insulation. So whereas that one's on the side, that one's on the front, I think that just helps. Uh, helps with insulation, really. Sharing my bag with beasties tonight. Uh, there we go, so that's the sleep system, that's pretty much everything. That's that's you seen everything. The gear that I'm using. So I shall let you know. Let you know in the morning how it performs. Uh, so everyone, that's me all. <coughs> pardon me, that's me all. Uh, nice and warm and tucked up in my sleeping bag. I've got the fire on there as well, so that's kicking in actually quite a good bit of heat. We'll uh, I'll keep feeding it through the night. Hopefully, I can keep it going all night. But if it goes out, I suppose I'll get to test out the sleeping bag for the morning. Um. Yeah, so unless something uh, magic or tragic happens. Ah, yeah, I know there's wolves in this region. I know there's like 1,300 numbers. European grey wolves, so... You know. If I wake up with uh, my head in a wolf's mouth, I'll, I'll bring you back for that. But uh, if not, I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Well, morning guys, I survived the night, it's got a few sticks here, it's going to get us fire still in from last night, so, Let's see if I can get it going for a cup of coffee. Definitely survived the night. Oh. Oh. Cold this morning though. Oh, it's cold. I could leave that and it will light because there's a little breeze coming. I'm just going to help it along a bit. That's probably one of the most underrated tools I've got. These wee things. Bellows. There we go, we'll get that on, I'll get a few more sticks and get a coffee on the go.
I'm definitely stiffer than I would have been in my hammock. For sure. Those boy, I'm just adding a little bit more. And let's just have a big coffee out of that. <laughs> and that was the that was last meal. I couldn't actually eat that last night. After I had the Mexican chicken, I was like that. So that one there was like. See that there? It's like you know, beef olives, rolled up beef. It's like that. Okay, breakfast is served. Okay guys, I feel like another coffee, so I've got some nice water to purify. I'm only joking, this is uh this is just to make sure this fire is good and out. Uh, not too bad here as I said this the sand under there. What I do with these big bits here is uh, 
So we were a camp last night, it wasn't ideal, there's actually there's a path not far away, that's where we got the water from, like in a wee puddle. So um, I'm just gonna go back and forth a couple of times. Yeah. I need a couple more bottles of water for this. Obviously put it right out. A lot of heat in them. In these kind of forests, certainly it's uh, you know it's very important you do that. So guys, this is us all packed up. I you see my bag. That there. That is where I camped and had my fire, so. Fires out, I went water collecting from puddles and stuff. It took about six litres of water to make sure that was out, so you know, that kind of shows you how important, especially in these pine forests. But that was that was where the fire was. That's where I was. But yeah, especially in these pine forests because they get layers and layers and layers of the pines and this moss and it I don't know, it makes like a like a peaty composty type thing and it, it, it will sit and smoulder for ages and then maybe even pop up a wee while away or a few days later or whatever so yeah when you're out especially places like this just you know respect what you're doing and make sure you put all your fires and take your litter and I'm not going to preach to anyone but yeah so I'm going to I'm going to make a move it's about I don't know, it's about half nine in the morning now. So I'm going to head home because obviously I've got work. Yep, yeah, we're on our way. So I'm on a path that's sort of on the way there, but I don't know if you can see on those trees there. See them ones close. And you feel it under all the pine needles, so I see this little bank, ditch thing. But they've been dug in thingies all through that bit of wood. And it's quite a big area, but that was a forest fire, definitely. That's what's done that. It's maybe not, uh, you know, burnt high enough to hang the trees, but all this pine needles and hangies all smouldered and burnt and all come through here. Obviously they've had to fight that, but that's from people not paying attention with the fires. So that's why I will camp in here, a lot of these pine forests, a lot of these pine woodlands, you know, I'm really gonna have to, you know, be aware when I'm packing up and stuff. It's beautiful in here though. Bring you back when we're further on. So I'm just walking uh, through the woods back. Came through a wee clearing and see the mound there? Definitely that's a wood ant's nest. I don't know if they're, I don't know if wood ants all die or they hibernate, but yeah, it's in there. It's obviously in this wee clearing so it'll get some sun in the forest. Well, that's quite cool. We'll probably see more in the summer. They'll get way bigger than that. Some of them are about four, four or five foot high, I think. Really big. Yeah, we're coming out to a road now. We're very close to the road, so. Yeah. The puff balls there. Let's see if they... I'm going to keep this in focus. Let's see if it's got anything in it. Oh, a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's been in the ages. There's loads of them in here, there's some loads of them. Let me find out if they're the same ones that are that are edible. You know, before they go into that stage when they're just white white balls. I'm fairly sure they're edible. So here we are coming out to the road. Just gonna do this for speed. I could have walked up the woods a wee bit more and then juked out, but yeah. people's off the tinter webs see how see that's, that's the forest over there way further it's all surrounded by farmland this bit on the way see this goes up for ages you can see in the distance there the tops of houses that's goes off that's where I'm going so Oh yeah, I meant to talk briefly about uh, you know the um, the pig, the African swine virus or whatever it was that sort of banned us from going out. So 
the ban in some areas is still in effect. Oh, you've got to watch the some areas I think you, you need to be a hunter to go into because they're still culling and checking carcasses, I don't know, but um, I've checked, checked with a few people on that and up here should be fine. There are pigs up here, don't get me wrong, but um, it does seem to be okay. I just need to be mindful of where I am and what I'm doing. So, I also never saw any wolves, so I didn't wake up with a wolf eating at me, so that's good. <laughs> So what I'm doing, I'm heading, this is the last stretch home, last couple of miles. It's quite open, it's quite windy, so I'm going to do my wee sign off here. So everyone, uh, thanks for watching, and, and a real big thanks for being patient, because, you know, this is my first video in quite some time. Uh, there'll be more videos coming now in the future. I don't know exactly the schedule, whether it's going to be weekly or bi-weekly or... You know, we still we still need to figure that one out. But uh, yeah, you know, thanks thanks everyone for watching. And uh, what might be good is uh, if you you know you do all the usual, you like, share, subscribe, blah blah blah. Um, if you hit the wee notification bell, you want to be notified. Uh, notified. <laughs> you want to be notified of my my videos because I don't have a you know a steady uh, schedule for them. You know, you could do that. That might be a good idea. So yeah. Been an awesome camp, really enjoyed myself. And I'll see all you guys in the next one. Bye now.